action. I'm Hector, I'll be playing Tom. Priscilla Gonzalez, and I'll be reading for Lynette. Okay. Wow, honey, look, this place looks spotless. Thanks. Listen, I've come up with this killer idea for the spotless scrub campaign. Great. You want to run it by me? No, I'm good, but thanks. Okay. Well, that's the thing. You know, whenever, you know how whenever I pitch in the boardroom at work, how can you see always tears my ideas down in front of the other partners? Yeah. I invited the partners and their wives over so I could pitch to them here. And I thought we could make a formal dinner for six. We could sit, we could... And the when exactly would this formal dinner take place? Uh, day after tomorrow. Tom! Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's short notice. You think? How am I supposed to pull off a full dinner with no warning? I don't know, Brie Vandy Camp does this kind of thing all the time. What did you say? Well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. That's, you know what, forget it. I'll call and I'll cancel, don't worry about it. No, no. Let's do it. Really? Yeah. It's good for your career. I can pull it off. Yes, honey, thank you so much. You know what, I promise, I lend you this account. I'm gonna buy you something awful pretty. Wow, honey, look, this place looks spotless. Thanks. Listen, I've come up with this killer idea for this spotless scrub campaign. Great, you wanna run it by me? No, I'm good, but thanks. Okay. Well, that's the thing, you know, how whenever I pitch in the boardroom at work, how can I see always tears my ideas down in front of the other partners? Yeah. I invited the partners and their wives over so I could pitch to them here. And I thought we could make a formal dinner for six. We could sit, we could... And when exactly would this formal dinner take place? A uh, day after tomorrow. Tom! Yeah, I know, I know. It's short notice. You think, how am I supposed to pull off a formal dinner with no warning? I don't know. Brie Van De Kamp does this kind of thing all the time. What did you say? Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. That's, you know what? Forget it. I'll call and cancel. Don't worry about it. No, no. Let's, let's do it. Really? Yeah, it's good for your career. I can pull it off. Yes, honey. Thank you so much. You know what? I promise. I lend you this account. I'm going to buy you something awful pretty. Hi, my name is Meredith Golchin, and I'll be reading for Jerry. My name is Adam Carter, and I'll be reading for George. See now, to me, that button is in the worst possible spot. The second button literally makes or breaks a shirt. Look at it, it's too high. It's in no man's land. You look like you live with your mother. Are you through? You do, of course, try it when you buy. Yes, it was purple. I liked it. Oh, I don't actually recall considering the button. Oh, you don't recall. <clears throat> uh, no, not at this time. Well, Senator, I'd like you to know what you knew and when you knew it. Uh, are you sure this is decaf? Just relax. It's just coffee. How come you're not doing the second show next week? Well, there's this woman who uh, might be coming in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woman might be coming in? Yeah, I told you about Laura. This woman I met in Michigan. She called this morning and said she might be coming in for a seminar. Yeah, we might get together. Whoa, 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 whoa. Had to? Had to come in? Where was I in all this? See now, that button is just in the worst possible spot. The second button literally makes or breaks the shirt. 
Look at it. It's too high. It's in no man's land. You look like you live with your mother. Are you through? You do, of course. Try it when you buy. Yes, it's purple. I liked it. I don't actually recall considering the button. Oh, you don't recall. No, not at this time. Well, Senator, I'd just like to know what you knew and when you knew it. Are you sure this is decaf? Would you relax? It's a cup of coffee. How can you not do in the second show tomorrow? Well, there's this uh, woman who might be coming in. Wait a second, wait a second. Woman? I told you about Laura. The girl I met in Michigan, you know. She called this morning and she had to come in for a seminar and maybe we could get together. Whoa, whoa, had to? Had to come in? It was pretty dire, you know. Uh, I'm Cena Siasi. I'll be slating for Benson. I'm Luke Henry. I'm reading for Armstrong. Okay. All right. We're assuming she was grabbed and hustled into the bushes over there. What are the round casts? Knees. You see the handprints in front of them? Perp made her crawl? We got no handprints in front of these knees. What do you make of that? She was begging. Begging not to be raped or for her life. Both. So the perp picked up a rock. We've got that in the lab, with her blood on it. Broke her nose. She was getting blood everywhere. We found it on her clothes and on the ground here. And also found a con wrapper. So she's crawling away with a broken nose, raped, begging for her life. Then the guy shoots her twice? We got spent rounds from a 44. One went into her left eye, lodged into the ground here. And the other one took off, her part of her, took off a part of her head and ricocheted up there. Did you find a book? No, why? Her secretary said she'd like to come up to the Ramble to read on her lunch hour because it's so safe and serene. No book. Hmm. What if she was dragged from this side? I need gloves. A burnt out case. Murder mystery. I guess we screwed up. And cut. All right, we're assuming she was grabbed and then hustled into the bushes over there. What are the round casts? Knees. You see the handprints in front of them? Perp made her crawl? We got no handprints in front of these knees, so what do you make that? She was begging. Begging for her life or not, or to, not to be raped? Both. So the perp picked up a rock. We've got that in the lab with her blood on it. Broke her nose. She was gushing blood. We found on her clothes and on the ground here. Also found a condom wrapper. So she's crawling away with a broken nose, raped, begging for her life. Then the guy shoots her twice? We got spent rounds from a 44. One went into her left eye, lodged into the ground here, and the other one took off a part of her head and then ricocheted up there. Did you find a book? No, why? Her secretary said she'd like to come up to the Ramble to read on her lunch hour because it's so safe and serene. No book. What if she was dragged from this side? I need gloves. A burnt out case. Murder mystery. I guess we screwed up. Okay. I'm Jensen Martin, and I'm reading for Rebecca. I'm Maggie Boudreau, and I'll be reading for Veronica. <clears throat> Veronica? Uh, sorry to make you wait. Come in. Um, do you remember when we talked last year, right after Lily's death, you were inconsolable? Um, I'm really hoping that this year you're able to talk about it. Uh, you know, you're never gonna come to terms with uh, Lily's death if you keep all this pain bottled up inside of you. Wow. I have that same platitude a day calendar at home. It's how I know beauty comes from within. Uh, look, Veronica, for whatever reason, I, I don't think you like me very much. Um, so if you prefer talking with someone else, that's... Sorry. That was rude. It's not you. It's the talking. I don't want to talk away my grief. I want to turn it into something else. Fuel. I know I'm not going to feel better if I keep talking about how sad I am. Veronica. Sorry. It... Nervous habit. 
Um, so, how is it you're gonna find a, and I really hate to use this word, but it is appropriate, closure. I'll find closure when Lily's killer is running away in prison. Veronica, uh, sorry to make you wait, come on. Do you remember last year when we talked, um, right after Lily's death, you were inconsolable? <laughs> um, I'm really hoping that this year you're able to talk about it. <laughs> you know, you're never, gonna, you're never gonna come to terms with Lily's death if you keep all that pain bottled up inside of you. <laughs> You know, I have that exact same platitude a day calendar at home. It's how I know beauty comes from within. Look, Veronica, for whatever reason, I don't think you like me very much, so if you prefer talking with someone else, that's... <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. It's not you. It's the talking. I don't want to talk away my grief. I want to turn it into something else. Fuel. I know how I'm gonna feel better, and it's not by talking about how sad I am. Veronica! Sorry! Nervous habit. So, how is it you're gonna find, uh, and I really hate to use this word, but closure? I'll find closure when Lily's killer is rotting away in prison. <laughs>